everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and this is quite a surprise for me because you know I was going about my day minding my own business and I was like today is a wonderful day I love animals what am I forgetting I feel like I'm forgetting something and then I realized you guys I forgot our pandas and I think you can actually oh look at that beautiful crane right there oh my gosh aren't you looking gorgeous but look 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 there's one of our pandas right there in the background I can't believe I forgot about our pandas and that today is the day that we are finally returning to the Asian forest zoo that we have here in Zoo Tycoon 2 and would you believe not only did I forget that today is panda day and that we needed to go and check on our pandas but I also forgot that the last time we worked in the Asian forest zoo we managed to get Asian elephants Somehow I managed to forget the fact that we had elephants. I think that takes significant amount of work on my part to forget that we kind of had this entire ginormous enclosure back here that is the space for our Asian elephants who seem to mostly be converging in the background here. This was the very last thing we worked on ages and ages ago when we were taking good care of our Asian elephants. It looks like they need a little more water over here. Hello everyone! Look how exciting this is! Oh my gosh! This is fantastic I need to like get a new oh my gosh and we have a we have a competition we have a challenge that we're supposed to be doing well let me go ahead I need I need a new oh my gosh this is the ancient wing park I need a new photo album so we're gonna call this Asian Force 2 and uh oh wait apparently that's already named here so Asian Force 3 can we do that yeah so now we have a new photo album and I'm gonna have to clear, oh my gosh, but look at this, look at this little meerkat land on his belly. What pictures do we choose to keep? What pictures do we, like, get rid of? Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, ugh, this isn't Asian forest pictures, though. But that's okay, we're just gonna have to roll with it. Oh my gosh. Because I love having pictures of what goes on in our park. And actually, I was thinking, and let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, about starting a special, can we get a picture of you? Hi, sweetie. We can! Oh, that's so exciting! My camera finally works! But I was thinking about starting a special Twitter where I could do uploads from, uh, like, our zoo world. So, like, from Zoo Tycoon 2, from Zoo Crafting. I can put pictures and updates so you guys know what's going on with all of our animals. I think that would be amazing! So what are the elephants up to over here? I think they're all taking turns drinking from this water trough. Drinking water from the sa stable water trough. So I have at least seven. That is a lot of elephants in here. Oh my gosh, look, 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 look. So what are you doing, my friend? Oh my goodness. So going to drink water. Hmm. Just wandering around. We have the art easels, the painting easels that they can use. We have somebody named Nala. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at our tigers. I remember this exhibit. This tiger exhibit is actually one of my favorite ones because we worked on it so well. It's supposed to be gorgeous. Oh my gosh, just look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I would love like uploading pictures of these guys just like on that Twitter and it can be like our own zoo because I follow dozens of No, I swam right into the tiger poop. Oh, that's disgusting. That's so gross. And look at the tigers. Oh my goodness, I guess we should start releasing some of the tigers. Oh, do you want to play with your little feeder ball? Some of the tigers into the wild. What on earth is with all of those... I hear like a bazillion bells going off, like squeaky things. What on earth is that all about? Who's playing with the bazillion squeaky things? Oh, look at this guy. He's wearing like our little panda backpack. Oh, this is so cool. So I should give you guys a proper tour of our entire Asian forest exhibits, in, like zoo as a whole in just a second. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that to you guys. I'm thinking about doing like a Twitter or a Facebook for our zoos that we do in Zoo Tycoon 2 and just sharing pictures and updates, maybe doing like naming competitions, things like that. It could be fun. Maybe like once a year we'll do like a win a copy of Zoo Tycoon 2 competition or something because that could be kind of cool. All right, if you don't have it already. All right, and look at this. Oh, so this is the entrance of our zoo, where apparently we have an absolute girl too is about to reach its full size. Oh my goodness! Where we have a bazillion and a half balloons here to celebrate the birth of many, many creatures. Can I reach those balloons? Or are they permanent decorations? These balloons may very well... I assume the balloons are permanent decorations now. Well, we'll just leave them piled up over there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, and I forgot about the misters! So I put the little fog machines down. Uh, we're going to have to add more trees over here to kind of give it a better backdrop, but look at this. So you walk in on a nice hot day into this cool, refreshing mist. There's music playing. 
There's entertainers, break dancing for you. Oh, this is so cool. And then, what do we have in here? Do we have our little frogs in here? We should have little frogs in here. Oh, I think they're hiding in the background. Oh, there's one, there's one. Did you see it, the little feet? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So there's little frogs in here and the more misters. There's a really nice, this is like a tea and chess shop. So you can come in and you can drink some tea and play chess over here to kind of keep your brain sharp. We have some education podiums. Oh, we're gonna have to see what kind of challenges we've got here. <gasps> look at our, look at our, our little, oh my gosh. Our panther chameleons, oh my goodness, they're so amazing. Our chameleons seem pretty darn happy. Somebody can't reach the bamboo though, so we'll have to check that out in a second. Oh, look at that. Big old giant zoo screen, and everyone's wearing our stuff. Oh, and this man has cheesecake. I love cheesecake, I miss cheesecake so much. I wish somebody would make a good vegan cheesecake. All right, so let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, look at that, so there's the sky tram. Look at all this beautiful bamboo. Oh my gosh, I forgot how all out we went on just like the decorative garden stuff here. It is so different from our safari and savannah zoo, but it's still so amazing. Here's a gift shop. No wonder everybody, oh, he's getting money out of the ATM. Oh yeah, get that money, sir. Go spend it on stuff. Are you gonna walk directly into the gift shop now? Is he really? I'm gonna laugh so hard, nope. Okay, where's he going? Where are you gonna spend that money? Where are you gonna spend that money? What is with, oh, I think that's the gift shop. Like all the kids are playing with squeaky toys and that's where all the little like bell and whistle noises are coming from. But girl two is about to reach its full size. So that should actually be in here. So, and I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong, but that is the long snouted, oh, and Nola is now pregnant. Oh, we really better release her babies then. Wait, what the heck is in here? Is there, why do I have this gate to nothing? I don't understand. Why did I do that? Is there supposed to be like, am I supposed to have the water? I guess I'm supposed to have the water things over there, but they should be in here. There's a couple crocodilians in here with very, very long noses. I don't see them. Oh, and Red Panda 18 is now pregnant. And Nala is pregnant. And so much in Striped Rabbit 26 and like the wild horse just gave birth. All right, so it is in here somewhere. It's trying to reach full size, there it is. So let's go ahead and pick it up so we can see where it is. There we go. So here is one of our reptilian companions. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, you look amazing. Oh my goodness. Let's fill that water dish up. You doing okay? Don't bite my toesies. And that long snout is more for snagging fish out of the water, not for biting zookeeper toes. So yeah, this should be doing okay. Moving around, awesome. And then we should actually have clouded leopards over here. Oh, look at these flowers, oh my gosh. And there's an educator, she's like, let me tell you all about what we have here in the zoo. She looks awesome, so I'm gonna take a picture of her. I'm a little photo happy. In fact, while we're walking around and looking at things, take a photo of a gift cart, take a photo of a kangaroo bouncy ride, take a photo of any food stand. We should be, oh, what about my, what about my cheesecake stand? Can we take a photo of our delicious cheesecake and like have it enter into some sort of some sort of like magazine. Delicious cheesecake. Does that count? Aw, he doesn't count. All right, do we have kangaroo bouncy rides over here? This is the playground for the kids. Um, it's kind of set up at the edge. You can see the kids dancing over here. Maintenance worker watching after them. Okay, so it's a nice playground. And as you can see, we've got like these really cool lights over here for the kids as well. Look at this little kid. She has an orangutan plushie. That is so awesome. We've got more entertainers. We've got so much music, it's making my ears hurt. The red pandas, there's the red pandas. Oh, it's so noisy over here from, oh, hello, sir. Pardon me, I'm trying to look at a red panda. But you have the little red pandas running around over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. And apparently in the wild, they're very solitary, but in zoos, they tend to like play in groups. And that just amazes me. And then back over here, holy days, we worked really hard. This whole place looks like gorgeous. This is beautiful. And then we've also got these little tiny deer who are zipping around over here. It looks like there's some poop that needs scooped in there. Do I not have a, oh, here it is, the gate to get in. Oh my gosh, it's like walking through the thickets. Um, Hello, hello, can I get around please? I'm just trying to scoop some poop. Um, Hello, what on earth am I stuck on? Why can't I get over there to scoop the poop? Is that why my zookeepers, oh, that's what it is. Oh, zookeepers already gotten in there and cleaned it up for me. Good job, sir, ma'am, whoever did it. I think it was Stuart there. That was before I could even figure out how I could, could like get in there. But look at all the greenery. I love this place. Of course I would, it's covered in greenery. Absolutely gorgeous. And then it gets a little interesting. 
Uh, I remember this part. It gets a little interesting when we're coming up on the ferns, trying to get a good look at our clouded leopards. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty, and we have a few babies roaming around. This little white dot down there is actually a baby whose texture just isn't completely correct, but the baby is in there, so we do have babies. The Asian Elephant 3 is now pregnant. We're gonna need names for our Asian elephants, you guys. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, and I think we can come over here, and this is actually the direction that you can come and see the Asian elephants at. And you can come over, and you can check them out either over here or you can get in the little ride. Can I get in the little ride? Is that something I can do? I don't know if I can ride the Sky Tram the way you can the Jeep. Can I ride it? Oh, 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 here we go, you guys. Oh my goodness, yay. Okay, so this is our little Sky Tram. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, don't mind us just kind of zipping around up here. As you can see, this is the area that we made for the Asian elephants. I'm hoping that it's going to be nice and comfy for them. And, oh, these are actually really nice posts. I never noticed the details on those posts before. It's very nice. Very, oh, wow, look at this. There's so much forest. But the place where the Asian elephants come from is really covered in forest. Oh, my gosh. I hope people don't mind that they're literally being smacked in the face by a bunch of leaves <laughs> while they're in this, uh, this ride. I personally would be ecstatic, but I love trees. I really do. I would like take the pieces home and like press them and be like, yay, these are my, my leaves from the place, the zoo. Oh, look, you can see the cherry blossoms in the panda exhibit and you can see the big giant trees that we have in the orangutan exhibit from up here. This is really cool. And as you can see, the uh, little, oh, oh my gosh, more leaves. <laughs> so you can't see anything right now. <gasps> look, it's an elephant. You can see some of the elephants. Oh, this is so awesome. So we can see some of the beautiful elephants. There's a peanut dispenser over there. There's big giant logs for them to play with. Hello, darling. I hope you don't mind us. I hope this doesn't upset you. Me zipping around over your head like this. Oh, look at that. You can see more of them coming through the bushes over there. Oh, that's awesome. And somebody's been using the paintings. That's so exciting. But as you can see, oh, is it using the peanut dispenser? <gasps> you guys, look. It's picking up the big old log. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh, no, I didn't want the Zoopedia. I'm okay, I'm okay. I just wanted to look at this. Oh, that's so cool. But as you can see, then it takes you down and you land over here so people can get out of the Sky Tram on this part if they want to. Or they can jump in and they can ride over where we've got our tigers. So I do think that we're going to have to release Nala's two previous cubs so that we don't have competition and Nala's going to have more babies. So her two previous cubs need to go and move on with their own life. And then over here, we've just got like random rock pools and decorative pieces that really kind of try to tie everything together. We're back over to where the red pandas are. And over here are where our orangutans are. And you can actually see some of them. What are they doing down here? There we go. Yeah, some of them are just hanging out in the nest. We have a huge orangutan population. So they're constantly growing up. We constantly have to be shipping a few off because the population gets a little out of hand. I want to redo their exhibit. So if you guys have any ideas for them, let me know because we had to remove a bunch of the trees that were just kind of in the way. But I think we could redo their exhibit and make it nice. As you can see, they're super popular. People are all over the place keeping an eye on them, seeing how they interact. They're like, see each and every spot that has like binoculars is pretty much occupied. Oh, Red Panda 11 just passed away of old age. Aww. And then over here we have the back of the panda exhibit where we've kind of got like this little enclosure area where there is a conservative breeding center. Uh, we've got a bunch of cranes in with the pandas, by the way. Oh, that's a dirty panda. Let's go give him a little scrub. What you doing? What you doing, you silly goose? Oh, look at you. Look at you with your little flower. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that face. Oh, stay. No, stay in the little, stay in the little orchids. You're so cute. Stay in the little orchids. Oh, apparently there's poop in here. No, don't go that deep in the orchids. You went too deep in the orchids. All right, apparently there's some poop issues. Oh, look at you. What are you doing, little one? And the pandas, the great pandas like this, are another one of those species that I have heard really prefer being on their own. They're very solitary. And yet when you see them in, together in captivity, they don't seem to much mind being in groups. So... It's very interesting. Like they, they, some of them do, but like you can see a lot of them kind of playing together and interacting together. Do you want your little ball? Are your little balls all stuck against the side of the wall? Let me fix that. Oh, I think he wants his little toy balls. All right, come here. What are you trying to do? 
Oh, you're trying to drink some water? That's over here. That's over here. I've been told pandas aren't the smartest things by people who are in the know, who have met pandas. I've been told that they're not the most, um, they're not the most intellectual of creatures, perhaps. Oh, you are so cute. Why are you so cute? Oh, I shouldn't be left alone with a like camera that now works because that makes me so excited. Look at mom and baby pandas. Oh my gosh, it's going to do the back thing. It's going to do the back thing. The baby pandas climb up on the mom's back. It's the most adorable thing. You can see tons of like how we built this zoo in the old playlist too. Because we have hundreds of Zoo Tycoon 2 videos as well. Building up this zoo with Ling Ling and her first baby. Oh my gosh, they're doing it. They're doing the cute thing. They're doing the cute thing. Okay, I need to stop taking pictures. But as you can see, we have a bunch of storks and cranes. We have some black cranes. We have some or, um, oriental storks that fly around to kind of add more to this area, keep it going. I feel like we need to hire another zookeeper though because I feel like that one woman might be a little overwhelmed. So let's hire this guy and we're gonna call him uh, Panda Keeper Isla. And let's see. There we go. And he's going to take care of this area. So that's what he'll do. And then let's see what else we have over here. Because we've hardly touched all of the creatures. Why are you unhappy, sir? Why are you unhappy? He's like, I'm not being entertained. And now, like, my, my entertainers are swarming on him. Their person is not entertained senses are tingling. And they're just, like, swarming on him right now. Go, entertainers, go. Maybe I need more, like, dancing rocks over here. I don't have a lot of dancing rocks over here. And they're really important for the people to stay happy. I've found people want to dance. They, they just want to dance. So you got to keep dance rocks everywhere. All right, I'm going to put a dance rock over here. Maybe that's what he really needs to be happy. Now what is he going to do? He's like, I'm going to go use the bathroom. All right, here you go. No, now I'm going to go to the restaurant. John, you don't know what you want. Here, come dance. I'm sticking you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you wanted all along, isn't it? Come on. Look, break dance with our mascots. You can do it. Come on. The dance rock is right over here. Where are you going? Is that dance rock not good enough? Oh, he's going to come over to this dance rock. Oh, maybe he's going to come dance with Tammy. Oh, I see how it is. Is that how it is? Is that how it is, John? Are you going to come over here and dance with Tammy now? Well, she's done dancing. But maybe maybe you could like exchange numbers. He's like, oh, well, she's not dancing anymore. I'm just going to go to the restaurant. I see how it is. And meanwhile, this woman, I think, just saw something. Oh, her favorite her favorite animal is a, 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 a tetra. I, I saw her have the orangutan symbol over her head. And I was like, awesome. She got to see her favorite animal, the orangutan. No, Miss Kim Phillips' favorite animal is the Mexican tetra. It'd actually be kind of fun to have a zoo where we just grab people and like put their favorite animals in it one day. Maybe we'll do that as a challenge one day. Um, and then we have the Sumatran striped rabbits, which are one of the rarest rabbits in the world. We've talked about them a lot. We've done a Zoo Bites episode on them that you guys should go see. We've talked about them in Zoo Crafting. We've talked about them extensively in Zoo Tycoon 2. We've really looked into the very rare, endangered, possibly extinct Sumatran striped rabbit quite a bit. And they're adorable. So we've got them. We have some Costco Island uh, raccoons. Or, excuse me, Kazum, Kazumel, I hope I said that right, Island Raccoons. We've got a lot of empty space where we could start putting things. This is so exciting. Look at this. This is, I think, one of the biggest maps, um, like a custom size map because it's gigantic. I hope this doesn't make everything go kaboom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the custom size map, but it might just be the large map. Wee! So that was exciting. Um, let's see. And then, let's see. We've also got... A escaped animal. <laughs> oh my. It's an escaped Sumatran striped rabbit. whoops a -dups. Okay, well, we were just talking about you, little guy. So now's as good a time as any to come down and look at you a little bit closer with your beautiful bromeliads. Look at the bromeliad. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Look at this bromeliad. All right, enough of the bromeliads, though. Gotta scoop up the rabbit poop. Oh, there they are. And right over here. Oh, he yawned. Look at the tiny yawn. And this right here is the Sumatran striped rabbit. Pretty much estimated to be either extremely endangered or extinct in the wild due to habitat loss. But like I said, we've talked about that guy a lot in previous videos because they're so amazing. Red Panda 14 is going to give birth. Yay! We've also got some camels and we have some wild horses. One of the only wild horse species remaining in the world. And we've got them kind of here. This is meant to be kind of like a big steppy sort of Mongolian 
steppy area and we've got the camels and we used to have mandarin ducks but they were always unhappy so we adopted them all out because their coat is a little broken and then we've got the wild horses so they're over here i don't think we need this many jeeps so i'm gonna sell i'm gonna sell a couple jeeps because we don't really have a lot of people come back here anymore um, but as you can see we have tons of space so there's actually lots of room to continue making things grow and I'm really excited about that I'm really excited to do that with you guys because we are back in the Asian forest area And we have hardly started touching in on so many of the different creatures that we can have in this zone So next time we'll look into some of the creatures that we can add in unless you guys already have some awesome ideas And then we'll also try to complete some of the challenges and we'll have to see We'll have to do my favorite thing, and we're going to have to see, is it zoo fame? No, I think it'd be, we're going to have to see how close we are on achieving some of the things that I really love to do. Like, maybe we'll do the, uh, look, we're so close, we need to get more educational donations. So we'll work on more of the, um, oh no, look at that, oh, that's what we need, oh man. So we're really far away on the educational donation award, but we're going to try to ramp that up and try to do a bunch of the other challenges. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. We have so many dozens and dozens of animals to look through and add in and if you guys have some ideas start throwing them down there and i will see you guys next time and we will check in on our pandas of all types and we'll check in on all of our other animals including our pregnant our pregnant asian forest elephants so we need some names for the asian forest elephants that's really exciting and i wonder what else we should put in to their gigantic exhibit with them so i'm really looking forward to that and i will see you guys next time Bye bye